time for another toilet rant. And again, the subject matter is provided by us, by the uh, Toronto Sun compliments of my wife picking it up at the donut shop. And it's about uh, Killer Colonel Russell Williams. Da -da -da, there's your heading. There's his victim. One. Two victims, actually. And the sun is going on. Oh, we got like front page here. And by the way, that heading is what one of his uh, victims called him. He had two victims. And again, they've gone all out. By the way, there's the, the monster himself down here. Do, do, do. Where is the man? There he is. So anywho, Colonel Russell Williams. Full-time soldier. Tortured and murdered two uh, women here in Ontario. I don't know how they caught him. I'll have to get back to you on that. But the important facts are is definitely he was, in my mind, mentally ill. I mean, he, he raped and murdered these women. I mean, sexually tortured them for hours, videotaped, mugged for the cameras. Uh, so the point is, is he's going to jail. Is jail the place for him? Our question is not really how long he's going to be in jail. The question is, should he be in jail? So, as Harry Anslinger pointed out, if you're not worried about something, then you won't do anything about it. So if you're worried about something, if you think something's a problem, you're going to do something about it. So following good old Harry the bastard son of a bitch Anslinger's footsteps, we're going to try and see whether you think this is a problem or not. Whether, you know, you should maybe think about this. Can you do anything about it? I don't know. Can you, can you petition your... Uh, your governmental heads to change the law such that certain crimes are not deemed as crimes but as symptoms of mental illness and therefore the person doing the crime doesn't go to jail he goes to a mental hospital which is where I think he should be so what are we pointing out here the difference between crime for profit and non-profit crime in my mind uh, logically rationally in anybody's mind crime that's not done for profit you know be it drug abuse or alcohol addiction or whatever if you break into a, a jewelry store to get money to buy drugs, this is a quasi-behavioral, quasi-prime crime for profit. Your addiction motivation has to be investigated. But no, this guy started off by breaking into women's houses and stealing underwear. He had an underwear fetish. And then he graduated to, uh, to kidnapping, rape, uh, torture, and finally murder. So... Uh, I don't know, since he didn't take anything other than panties and uh, it wasn't really a crime for profit, but a crime for other reasons, isn't this really mental illness? Um, aren't crimes, this is the question that I'm posing to you that you have to ask amongst yourselves um, to try to get to some decision. We've been letting people make the laws for us and maybe it's time that we should start making the laws ourselves. Example, Colonel Russell Williams, he, he didn't take any money, he didn't take any possessions. He took intangible things, uh, their life, their, their dignity. So, so he's a sexual sadist. Uh, so is that a crime that he should go to jail for, or do you think he should go to the mental hospital? You know, I mean, let's put away the dealings that let's send him to jail and they'll take care of him. You can only hope they will. Um, more than likely, over time, they would take care of him. They're not popular on authority figures there. Him being a, a, a sexual sadist colonel uh, from the army, I don't know how many friends he's going to make. But that's... Nothing we do right now is going to erase the pain that these women felt or bring them back to life. So, it's a mental illness. If we send him to the hospital, we have a better chance maybe of studying and understanding mental illness and how to cure it. as opposed to shipping him to a prison where not much is going to happen, really. I mean, he'll be de diagnosed, but is he going to get treatment? Who knows? And off the get-go, we should I'm, I'm going to make the assumption out here in the public that this guy's a nut bar. This guy's suffering from a mental illness because of what he did. Um, and again, that's my question to you. Is rape, <laughs> these things, murder, 
crime not for profit is it really a crime or is it a mental illness and therefore the people that are correctly diagnosed with this rather than go to jail should go to a mental ward um, that's my question to you and the toilet rant has been about the, mo the new monster next door Colonel Russell Williams thanks again for watching